Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. And we are back again for another episode. And this episode is going to be quite special because it is potentially going to be the last games of the weekend league for this series this year it's been a bit of a bit of a crazy ride we hit elite a couple of times when i could be bothered you know we, we did that i mean we we tried like four times we got it three times so you know i'll take that as a dub you know it's, it's not bad uh, and you know we're just gonna ride these games out we are currently five and oh looking quite good obviously this team is now incredible so i've got no excuses to be getting decent like ranks uh obviously we only got up to 14 anyway but you know the record needs to be quite decent i mean if we lose more than four or five games it's, it's not looking good on me really is it uh, so we had 2 up in this game which is really really nice and we are going to make it 3 now we could have shot there with Gelson Mines but I thought you know what composure and we knock it back into I believe it was Cruyff maybe uh, and then we get the cheeky little rage quit there which was really really nice we had four shots to zero so obviously we clearly dominated uh, and you know it just wanted out of there so we're going to move on into the next one this is a really really nice team I can't lie to you obviously the Curtis Jones that I'm sort of looking at doing um, obviously not really any point now if I'm not going to play any games I'm genuinely just going to do probably loads of 87 times 10s uh, to be honest if there is like a Renato in the next couple of days I will do that because you know it was quite a cool Card, and I might just use it for one or two games like when I'm obviously not recording and things like that just sort of try the card because I really wanted to do his full birthday but we never got around to doing it uh, which is probably one of my biggest regrets of this year because obviously he's an absolutely incredible card everyone absolutely bashed their life out of him he was such an incredible player and people still use him now and he's still really really good so to get a footage version would be really really nice if not you know we will genuinely just spend the four 450k or whatever we've got probably 500k after rewards on 87 times 10s because they're absolutely incredible packs i've already opened two or three which i'm not going to spoil it we've got in the next episode they look absolutely incredible to be fair the next episode could actually be uh my my rewards on thursday because obviously i know i know it's sunday now which is a bit of a long time but we'll do rewards thursday then friday we'll end off the roads glory completely because you know like i said this is going to be uh the last couple of episodes which is quite emotional i didn't manage to hit the 300 episodes that i thought i would at the start of the year but however we did actually get ourselves you know 71 subscribers on the channel which is really really nice and we got ourselves some very good like views on some of the videos like you know the icon packs usually did quite well i believe i got one to two thousand on one of the icon packs which was absolutely fantastic uh, and you absolutely love to see it hopefully you know we can double the amount of subs for next year that'd be absolutely insane you know getting over 150 and then just kicking on from there and we need to obviously start growing the channel a lot, a lot more and obviously doing a bit more on tiktok like i need to sort of sort that out because it's obviously quite a good platform for getting growth on the on the youtubes and uh, and things like that and obviously on tiktok as well if you've got a good following on there then more some will come across onto youtube which is obviously quite helpful uh, and to say upload every day you know to get as many views as possible will obviously help the channel out so uh, we do end up finishing that game 7-2 there Usman Dembele getting on the score sheet i've not really used him much recently and i do use him in the final game and get him a goal because you know he's sort of a staple to this channel he's, he's obviously been in this road to for pretty much the whole year we had his normal card since pretty much the start of the game and he just was so so good he was incredible i loved him so much uh, and obviously now we've got his better version in his 91 flashback um you know he, he's just amazing and, and he genuinely kept me playing this game for a very long time like obviously he was probably one of the best players i had in my squad like a few months ago and my oh my, he just he kept me playing this game because of why I genuinely wouldn't, I don't think I've played because he was just so fantastic and a brilliant, brilliant player and I wasn't really feeling this game anymore uh, and now I genuinely am feeling like this is enough, you're like yeah we're just going to get a bit of content out uh, and then that is going to be that, I'll have a nice little month's break, we'll probably bring a couple of videos out maybe on FIFA 22, all the different things when we can actually show things uh, and then obviously uh, we will start afresh in FIFA 22. The the EA access date is supposed to be the 22nd of September, which is obviously four days before the actual game release. So I believe that is a Wednesday, uh, and then obviously the game release is on the Monday for the early access like actual game. So if you get the uh, ultimate edition of the game, comes out on the 27th. If you don't, you get the standard. It comes out on the 1st of October. Uh, which i believe is a friday so that's quite interesting and um, obviously they will probably be quite behind 
uh, already from from the people obviously get the 4600 FIFA points for obviously pre-ordering the Ultimate Edition as well as you know the ones to watch that comes out on the first and also squad battle rewards squad battle rewards will absolutely be key next year uh within the first like couple of weeks because they always are and actually they're supposed to be getting an upgrade on how good the rewards are hopefully they are a lot better because i will grind that uh in the 10 hours uh, access trial because then you know we've got from wednesday to sunday to grind that get the 10 hours done and then on monday when the actual game comes out we get rewards straight away and we get to obviously sort of build the club from there and as well as the 4600 thief points that will get spent on drafts because you can do 15 drafts and apparently you should net around 100k even if you're exiting the first round so that's absolutely fantastic hopefully we can back something decent hopefully we can actually get around the first round that'd be decent uh, obviously i don't know how good i'll be at the next year's game because uh, this game has been it's been interesting like as you can see there i've abused the bridge um and i need to obviously stop that because next year it's not as powerful i've seen in the in the beta i've played the beta uh, it's not as good so obviously we need to look at different ways to obviously manipulate the game to be better at it or just get a better get better at it in general to be honest that's what i really need to do uh, but anyway moving back on into fifa 21 then this is the next game that we're going to be playing we're absolutely chilling i believe we could be seven or eight and no, i'm not actually too sure uh, but this is the next game it's a full pretty much Serie A side apart from the three on the left hand side of the young i believe it's jordi albert and team of the year uh sergio ramos uh, and we do fall one all up uh we get up past i believe with chiellini with pele for the header which is really really nice putting us one all up uh, and then this guy decided to turn it like F2 text for a second and just do a, a nice little skill cancel of a lacroquette into a chip from Mertens and he got himself a goal where and then 50 minutes on the clock he's looking to push for the second he does some nice one twos there with St. Maxim and Dybala and St. Maxim does finish it off for him uh, so he's now 2-1 up However, I've got something to say about it. We pick the ball with Pelé, a little bit of a dodgy pass there, but we still keep the ball. What can we do with it? Well, we're going to knock into Maradona, nice little touch, gets it back once, gets it back twice. We then take the shot and we get the goal, which is really, really nice. I mean, it's a bit lucky, I can't lie, um, but we'll take it nonetheless because people get lucky against me all the time. And then in the 91st minute, straight after the restart into extra time, we get ourselves in our sort of chip goal from uh, a towel then just terrible defending i did actually press clear but nothing happened and he just nicked the ball off me and scored which is fair enough uh then in the 108th minute power de Bala knocks it across for yusuf at once again uh, and getting us on the score sheet once again uh, and putting us a 4-3 up and winning the game more importantly so it's another win another win in extra time and that puts us up to the 10 win mark so we've got four more games left uh, which is a bit emotional, but you know, let's just get through them and hopefully we can do the best we can. So this is the first one of the four. What a team that is, by the way. Absolutely incredible. You can't say there's a there's really like um, a disadvantage in any of those players. Maybe Zidane is probably the worst player, I'd say. Uh, obviously, we've him not been meta, but he's still absolutely fantastic. Uh, and this guy does go one up through Vinicius Jr., which, you know, you would expect the, with the guy's team that he's got. However, ours, not that, ours isn't that bad. And, you know, as you can see, when Adama comes off the bench, he's quite strong, he's quite powerful, and most importantly, he's quite quick. He gets past the defender there and obviously gets the goal. So we are back to 1-1 in the 83rd minute, saving this game uh, from obviously being a loss. And and then obviously moving now into extra time, uh, we tried a shot there just to get past him, get a very, very lucky and fortunate with the rebound and St. Maximin is not going to miss from there. Uh, then the, the Miller Tau, I don't know what you're doing there, my son, uh, and Yusuf Tau will profit from that uh, and get himself again on the score sheet. And kudos to you, my friend, that was his team name. Uh, you know, we'll take that win. Thank you very much for the rage quit. So a 3-1 win there in extra time in the 112th minute. He just knew that like, he wasn't going to come back, which is fair enough. Uh, and we've now got got three more games to do so this is one of them uh, and wow again another great team you've got United and Ronaldo you've got uh, a very nice Griezmann there you've got obviously Varane at the back with Desailly uh, so some very nice players as well as Dybala and that Piemonte uh, objective that's a really really nice card by the way um, I actually didn't expect him to be that good obviously came out probably a few weeks ago now uh, and he's absolutely incredible in the air and everything he's actually quite quick as well which you wouldn't probably expect from a tall player uh, but anyway, moving in this game, then we are back to 1-1 through a Johan Cruyff goal, which is really, really nice. And now ACN's picked up the ball, he's driving forward, and he plays through Johan Cruyff. He's 1-1 -on -one with a goalkeeper. Is he going to score? Well, yes, he is. It's Johan Cruyff. What do you expect? Uh, however, you know, cheeky equalizer there from El Shirawi just after the restart, which he's not. Which is obviously putting back into the game. However, Johan Cruyff plays it across to Pele. What can you do? 
it's a brilliant tidy finish there in the uh, uh, I can't even speak in the 53rd minute uh, and then a lovely flick again from Pelle into Cruyff this time and uh, the two have paired up again to get another goal so we have 4-2 up but not for long. El Shirawi with a brilliant header uh, putting us um, in a bit of a predicament, but luckily enough, you know, we get the win again. So you love to see that. And we're up to the 12 win mark. So two more to go then. This is one of the two, the penultimate game of weekly games for me. It's been a long journey. Can we do something decent? Can we end off well? Well, it's a nice team. I can't lie. He's got that Tenali as well. So I'm thinking, well, you know, he grinds the game still. So fair enough. He's going to be probably quite good and used to playing the game. And Lukaku, well, Lukaku does what Lukaku does. He's he's very powerful. He's very mean. And he bullied my defenders all game long. Uh, Eusebio as well just absolutely taught Joe Gomez a lesson. And I'm 2-0 down inside 15 minutes. So like, right, well, we can't lose this now. Come on, we need to get the head on. We get one back for Johan Cruyff. That's really nice in the 27th minute. Can we get a second? Well, we play a nice through ball. It's Pele. He doesn't miss from there. We've returned the deficit. We were 2-0 down, back to 2-0. Now can we go and get a winner? Well, let's find out. we found Pele. He's getting around the players. He's found Maradona. He plays it across to Gelson Martins. Come on, you sexy man. Gelson Martins, brilliant. And then from the corner that we get here, we take the shot of El Shraoui. Enough said. What a fantastic player. That reminded me of the Kimmich goals that we used to score all the time. My oh my. Absolutely fantastic. And that does round off the penultimate game. And now we're into the final one. What a team to come up against. It's probably, again, one of the best teams you'll ever face. He's got some very good players in there. Maybe Kaka's a bit meh. He's a bit, you know. But then you've got, you know, to Stegen as well. But apart from that, it's just incredible. I mean, you can't really get much better. So nine minutes on the clock. We start off well. We've got the ball with Cruyff. He gets past the defender with ease. He stopped playing. He literally just stopped playing with his defender. And uh, he let me get the goal, which is really nice. Then whipped in from Gelson Martins into Pelé. It's 2-0. 21 minutes on the clock and then 15 minutes later we get the ball again with Pelé borrows the keeper gets a penalty and I'm thinking well surely this is it now this has to be it this is for the 14 and all game can we do it well we've we've tried to obviously change the taker there didn't happen so I just take the shot with uh, the boy Maradona and he doesn't miss straight down the middle with absolute perfection so a three in the lob we bring Usman Dembele on now can he get the goal to sort of be, be a fairy tale story, and yes, he does. He gets the final goal we will ever score in a FIFA 21 weekend league. A ridiculous scenes. You love to see it though, because you know everyone loves this. Uh, well, not everyone loves the guy. Some people absolutely hate him for nightmares, but I love him to bits. Uh, and then you know he does kind of score there with um, a Jordi Alba on goal. But we don't speak about that. We will just pretend you know we didn't concede and we won four 0 So that's absolutely fantastic. We had ten shots to be seven. We win the game. Fourteen wins completed for the final time. It feels so weird to say that. It really does. It's got a weird feeling in my stomach that that was the final game we will play in the weekend league this year. Mental. Just absolutely mental. Um, what can I say? It's been an absolute journey. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one then for the rewards. If not, some 87 times 10s before the rewards. And then that will be that. I appreciate you all for obviously being supportive to the channel this year. And like I said, see you in the next one. Peace.